Hey guys, good morning. It is March 19th. I guess that's what they call the Ides of March. Tomorrow is the first day of spring here in New York. So I'm going to sow my uh, peppers and tomatoes. I, I sowed a couple of peppers and a few tomatoes already just to see uh, how they do. And um, they already started uh, germinating and growing nicely. So today I'm going to put the uh, Juliet uh, hybrid tomatoes, the Crocini hybrid, the Romas, the Jersey Devils, the tomatoes here. We got a green zebra, and this was a free package of Horizon. I don't know what that is, but check it out. And then in the peppers, we got the Chiltepe, Chiltepin pepper, the Alma paprika, the giant Marconi, Habanero. This is the only hot one I'm growing this year, I believe. Although this could be. Well, this is Ancho Gigantia. This is another uh, sample that I got from, uh, I think this was from Totally yeah, Totally Tomatoes. Yeah, they sent a couple of extras. And uh, peas, I'm not going to start yet. I may, I may sow a few outside, direct sow, see how they do. But um, wait a little while because we may get another frost. But anyway, I'm starting them in uh, the tomatoes and the peppers in these trays here. <clears throat> um, I'm reusing my plastic labels from last year that I sharpie, I write sharpie on them, which is probably not a good idea. <laughs> but I'm using the uh, painter's tape just to label everything. There's Jersey Devil, Aroma, Green Zebra, Alma Paprika. So I'm sewing four of each variety <clears throat> in uh, these little trays. These trays here have six. So I'll put six in each of these and uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so a green zebra. So what I'm doing is I'm pouring a few seeds into my hand and I'm looking for the, the nicest ones, the nicest four, and I'm dropping them right in. I dibbed a couple of uh, little holes the soil and I'm dropping them trying to drop them into the hole this is not so easy oh, this is a nice big seed here so I'm thinking you know out of four of each variety tomato um, last year we grew too many varieties and we got too many tomatoes all you know the tomatoes all come at once kind of so um, I think back down a little bit this year. So what do we have? I have one, two, three, four, five, six varieties here. And I think I sowed maybe another four or five varieties. So that's, you know, 10, 11, 9, 10, 11, something like that. That's probably too much also, but, you know, I could always give away tomatoes to the neighbors. And maybe I can sell some. So what do we got here? This is the horizon. So now we'll go to the Chiltepin. My gardener, you sealed this one up too good. <laughs> By the way, congratulations to Luke over there at MI Gardener. We've got a million subscribers. I'm catching up to you. I have 200. Okay, so we're all um, sewed. We got the Jersey Devil, the Roma, Green Zebra, Crocini, Juliet, Horizon, Chiltepin, and then the Alma Paprika. I just put 
two cells. I put two seeds in each cell, so there's four of them. And then I sowed some lunchbox pepper seeds that I saved from our garden last year. And then we have the giant Marconi. There's six of those. And then the habanero figured, well, it's a really spicy pepper and we're not crazy about too spicy of pepper. So I just sowed two seeds in each cell, so there's four there. And then I stuck some, the Ancho Gigantia over there. There's four cells of those. And then I had some hot peppers that I got from a local Indian restaurant. They, they grow uh, some of their vegetables in, out in the back of their uh, shop. So these, I'm not sure what type they are. I call them Indian hot pepper, but they're probably just a hot chili pepper, but we'll see what it is. And these are uh, Piman, um, Japanese bell pepper, a small bell pepper. These we grew last year, so I sowed a, a crap load of seeds in there. Uh, we'll see if any of them come up. I tried a, a few of them earlier this year and none of them uh, germinated, so we'll see what happens. I just threw probably like 50 seeds in there. So that's it for today, the day before the first day of spring, and we're gonna water these up put them on the heat mat in my grow room slash laundry boiler room and uh, we'll see how they do. So happy uh, day before spring and we'll talk to you next time.